guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft, and in this episode, I've got a few things to show you, and then it's all random, just like we like it, random. Um, first of all, big change, um, I, I made a path go over to my base, over here, and I've got a bridge, which I think looks pretty ugly. Um, but I'm keeping it there because it took me about 30 minutes to make and I can't be bothered to remake it. And, um, all out. Oh yeah, I went exploring, found some nice stuff. Um, I got Respiration 3 on this now and it's finally Protection 4 and on this I got Protection 4 now. So, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, these mosquitoes are so annoying. I think I destroyed them. And over here, I have a randomizer, like I talked, uh, like the one I talked about last episode. And it chooses things to <laughs> it um, Of course, depends on what order you've put them in. Uh, those mosquitoes are so flipping annoying. Um, so in there, what I have right now is a firework, firework workshop. That's a bit, that's a bit of a mouthful to say. Um, sugar cane farm, like a large scale one and also a mini one like a mini automatic one would be pretty nice to have as well um mob system mega wheat farm nether wart farm which is probably going to be huge as well villager trading minecraft tracks although i don't know where they they're going to go to so i'm so if i get that then i'll just put it back in gold farm and nine farm and then um there's nothing in the hopper connecting the dropper and the chest together and that's because it's being powered from inside it wasn't intentional for it to be powered but it actually helps and it it gets unlocked when i press the button so that the next item is going to go in and then here i've got growing system boat station town hall which but this is supposed to be um what's it called nether nether hub yeah i was just thinking about town hall like the town hall and I was renaming that a monument for the dragon egg and a wood farm for the the automated oak one that I came up with in episode 10 was it a furnace room and a storage room and I tried building a furnace room off camera um man was I wrong I I have no clue of how to do one of the things I'm not even sure it's even possible to do that um if any of you guys know how to detect if there's a night if there's one or more item inside a minecart with chest, please let me know because I'd like to know how to do that. Um without command blocks of course. So let's press the button and see what happens. <laughs> Nice, we've got village trading, and that's what we're doing in this episode. Oh yeah, now everything went into the hopper, and guessing that, yeah, when I press the button again, it's going to put one more in there. Um, so, pretty cool. Um, I'll just get some of my stuff together, and we will carry on. FYI. Um, the chest, the chest on top of that roof is, is what, is where you're meant to put the project names into. And over here, I've got a little automatic furnace, because I just want, I just need to get a whole bunch of charcoal, um, together for other projects which I'm going to do. Uh, like, probably never. But I'll need a whole ton of charcoal for it, because there's going to be a lot of stuff to do. And, um, I got some more food smelting, because I need food. Um, villager trading. Uh, I don't, I don't know where to get my villagers from. Like, all the villagers are so far away. Well, I'll need to build of some kind. So, I'll just select an area and actually get my resources. And I guess I forgot to show you the wiring. Um, 
I always have an, an access to my wiring. So here's the wiring. Uh, what this is is basically a false extender. Uh, yeah, so that these can run on, can run for longer. And got some note blocks. Uh, the dropper there. Offer. All that kind of stuff. So yeah. So I think I've realised that um, there's not going to be enough space for a storage room here, or at least not for the one I want to build. So we're going to put our villagers in here, and also it's more safe in here from like explosion and explo explosions and stuff. So there's going to be an iron door there, so it's completely safe. And then. For even more safety, there's going to be another one over here. Because I'm crazy about safety. Um, especially when it comes to villagers. The only problem is, is, is if there's too many in here, there might be a zombie siege and they will... And zombies will spawn anywhere. Even if it's light enough for them not to. And that can cause us some big problems. Um, so, I was thinking about having the floor here made out of birch or, ma or maybe do something like maybe do some kind of symmetrical pattern um i i don't know but what we're going to have is like villagers slots all over the place here um hmm how should i have this should I have one space or two spaces? It's, it's going to be like this. It's going to be two spaces. Um, so I'm gonna I'm going to have to like breed villagers uh, before I put them here. So I actually have some, but. Eventually there'll be enough You'll just hopefully so how many will I need? One, two, three, four. Ah uh, nine. I need I'll need eleven villages in total. So that's going to be a pain. Uh should be pretty quick though, I hope. Um let me just sleep away the night and then I'll do some more building. Ah, Two hands are useful. Always. Always useful. So, I've got a general look going on here now. Um, I, I've i actually built this kind of thing before, like, the way this is, the way this is going to look, these little areas, holding areas, where the villages are going to be. I've built it long time ago on the season one server um of Minecraft and I liked the way it looked so much that I I'm going to repeat it here. Uh the only problem is that I used quartz last time and I liked that a lot more than I like wood but quartz is expensive and luckily I had lots of it back then. Um so I'm just going to replace all these walls with uh, planks, and then I'll be back. Um, looks like we've dug ourselves into a small problem, guys. Um, I thought there was a bit more room than that, so there was definitely not going to be enough room for the storage room. <sighs> Gonna have to cover this up somehow now. I don't think there's even enough space for the villages. Very nice, very nice. I've now put um, spruce into where the villages will be standing, um, just because I think it looks nice. And now I need sticky pistons, and I'm okay on the spruce and stuff like that, but I'll need sticky pistons, and I'll need to choose a color of glass. Um, I was thinking maybe green, but yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll experiment. Hmm, which 
one's better? I can't tell. I kind of like the way the white looks like. Kind of like, like the way the light blue and the lime looks like. Um, like, kind of like the way the blue looks like, and red, then the transparent, and of course the black. Um, uh, otherwise I'm having trouble deciding. I think I will go with... The answer is clearly black, like, why did they even hesitate? Ah, uh, anyway, here I've got one self-complete, um, what I've got here basically, wait, what did you why did that push me up? Never mind, uh, the village is going to be in there, you, this is going to be on so that this is closed, then if you want to talk to the villager, you just open it, talk, um, all there is is a piece of redstone on top of this block, and then a piston, crap, a piston over there, and I just wasted a paint, oh my god, there's no, it's no, there's no longer going to be remaining 10, there's going to be remaining 9 now, um, I'll just show you how to make one of these, in case you're wondering, um, it's very simple, um, I decided that the ceiling was going to be spruce, by the way, so, Ah, mosquito biting me. I hate mosquitoes. You just put a piece of redstone on there like that. Um, like so. Turn these into spruce as well. Because you'll be able to see the blocks. You'll be able to see those blocks with glass pane. Oops. Put a lever here. Done. Very simple. Um... Uh, I I don't want it this way. Can I can I change the spacing? Oh, it doesn't look like I can. Damn it. Oh well. I'll I'll just make do it the same for all of these, and then I'll be back. So, I now got all of these pods down. Pods? Did I say down? Done. And I've got the ceiling done as well, and that spider is really annoying me, so I'm just gonna go kill him real quick. Um, next step is to decorate the place a little bit, and then obviously, well that's where they went, and then obviously put the villagers in, um, make that some, like light, better lighting kind of thing. Um, that's that kind of goes under decorations, but uh, you know, you know, you know what I mean, don't you? Please say you do. Anyway, just need to just need to do a little bit more work, um, and then I should be done. So yeah. So, um, I'm pretty much done here now. So I've got this lo looking pretty nice now, um, got my double security system I was talking about, um, got all of this done, got a crafting table, um, I might put some chests here, um, but I'm not quite sure, oh I know exactly how this is going to work then, I'm um, going, going to have a trap chest, trap chests and normal chests, so that like, um, each world you can have two chests to themselves. Um, I'm going to have up, upside down stairs here. But I'll do that all off camera and I'll get the villagers off camera as well because it's a really tedious thing and I want them to record it. And I don't think they'll be very interested either. Um, because the villagers that I want that I have found are just about a thousand blocks away. So I will actually be trying to get zombie villagers um, to come to my party and then hopefully I can cure them. But that will take some time to do. And I don't think you guys are going to be interested in it. 
if you are, then sorry, but there's no way I'm doing that. It's it's like I can't be I can't be bothered to record it myself. It's it's, it's kind of like that. For me. Um. Right now I have some that I don't need. Um. Yeah, I'll I'll see the time of the episode, and maybe there's something else we could do, or at least start on, and maybe I'll clean up my inventory. Okay, so it seems like I have another ten minutes, at least ten minutes. Um, we're about fifteen minutes in now, so I will do this thing again. I don't have time to do this or start on it because I don't have any materials for it so let's try again um you know what um I'm just going to close my eyes and randomly hover over one of these and that's the one we're doing yay oh I didn't get one of those I'll try again okay so it looks like we're doing the wheat farm um, actually, no, I'm not prepared for that either. I'll just, I want to do the sugar cane farm. This is a nice and easy project, something I could do real quickly. And also, uh, talking about doing real quick things, let's just put a sign on this. Um, project randomizer, if I can spell, and um Isa. Yeah, right. Okay. Very good. So, I have picked out a spot for a good thing farm. It's over here in the desert because, because it's uh, relatively flat and it's not that easy to make it flat. Um and also sand is always nice to have. Um this is not my design of the sugar cane farm. This is Etho's design, but um, because it's efficient, anyone can use it. Um, so it's not actually copying because it's efficient. Um, it's really efficient for space actually, and I really wish I had a nice farm because I'm gonna have to use quite a bit of water here. But I could manage with just an infinite water source. Um, gonna set this all up here and then we'll carry on. Okay, so what I've got here is a pattern um, because one piece of water is affect this block, this block, this block, and this block for sugar cane to grow, and diamond doesn't. So there's a block here affects this diagonal one, this one, and this one, and this one, and so on. And that just maximizes the space. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to move this water source a bit closer. Um, because I can't be bothered to run. And my tools need repairing again. Um, is this efficient? No. Um, I'll probably put a fancy fight on that. I mean, I think I should put that on a fish fly. Um, a double ending. So, I'm just going to fill all of these with water. And then, um, So, I have now got all of these filled with water. And, and I'm going to put both down below all of these give light. Um, I would put jack o lanterns there, but I don't have any pumpkins growing, uh, and I'll probably fix that off camera, um, because it's is quite expensive. I'd rather not use it, but I don't have any alternative light sources right now, which can go underwater. Um, so, I'm gonna put all of this in, and then once again, I'll be back. And now I'm going to put 
these. So I will take a little bit of time. I won't be able to do all of these uh, today, but I have only short of time, so I'll just do a thing that I've got out of here. I will make this a lot bigger, or can of course. Um, I don't think I need this one. Um, I need to get more. Um, and, uh, great. I think I will need to go get all the gunpowder for the explosion. Perfect. I'm really running long time today. Um, it's like 3 in the morning. Uh, right. And it's night, it looks beautiful because there's glowstone underneath so it lights everything up and to finish this off I'll just put some carpet there so I don't walk into the water when I'm harvesting this or just generally, general, genuine, generally, whatever the word is, walking over this, um, oh great. <laughs> And those guys have probably called for help, so I'm in big trouble. And maybe next by the next by the next episode this will all have grown, so we might do a harvest. Oh I missed a little bit. Um that fix it? Yeah. And looks like I'm out of carpet, so let's go do the explosion. So, it looks like I'm out of time for this episode, so, let's end it. Oh, two and one. That was actually meant to happen. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.